This is the center of the high school hoops universe and Kelvin Sampson, head coach of the Houston Cougars, is here and that means it must be a pretty important game. Coach, how would you describe the first game that was played between Dickinson and Atascacita? Well, the thing that jumps out to me is the passion both teams are playing with. You, you can tell what's at stake. You know, the winner goes home, excuse me, the winner advances, the loser goes home. So this time of year, tournament basketball brings out the best in everybody. Well, I want to say thank you very much because I've got some years on me and I remember when the Houston Cougars were a perennial Final Four contender and you have brought them back to a level that we hadn't seen in a while. So what are some of the things that really stand out that you think have made the difference in making the Cougars relevant on a national scale again? I don't think there's one thing that um, I would say is a difference. I think it starts with um, good players. You can have all the support you want, but if you can't get good players, it doesn't matter. My, I've got a great staff. Uh, we've recruited the right kind of kids that uh, fit us. Um, uh, Tillman Fertitta, uh, chairman of our uh, Board of Regents, uh, Dr. Couture, president of our university, uh, the athletic directors I've worked for have all uh, made a commitment to our basketball program uh, through our facilities. Um, and all those things, combination, you know, our staff, our players, uh, support. And then uh, once we built a new building with the Price facility, the fans have been awesome. I mean, we, you know, the, you know, the, the game against Cincinnati is a great example, but I could go all the way back last year to Oregon, LSU, uh, all, all the great wins we've had in there. And the fans that have supported this program is what's, uh, what's really made it special. It's halftime of the Hightower Crosby game. We're talking with Kelvin Sampson. We won't keep you very long, but I, I realize that with the NCAA, you can't talk about players that you hope to sign to a letter of intent. I don't want to ask about anyone specifically, but what is it like having Houston within a drive of your home, a chance to see so many great players on different teams? Well, I can talk. I can talk about the kids that have signed. From my Mark, who's playing for um, Dickinson High School, signed with us in November. As an example of the, how important uh, uh, high school kids are in this area. You know, Chris. Chris Harris from Madison High School, Galen Robinson from Westbury Christian, Seth Alley from uh, Climb Forest, uh, Marcus Sasser from Red Oak over in the Dallas area. Uh, Atascacita High School is represented here tonight. We have Fabian White from there. So, you know, we made a priority to recruit uh, inside out. You know, we, we start with kids in this area. If we find somebody that we think fits us, uh, that we think we can develop, uh, that's, that's where we start. But um, it's a great basketball area. Fans, high school coaches, AAU coaches, uh, parents. Uh, this, this, is, this is one of the things that makes the University of Houston job so unique and so special. And in 10 or 11 days, San Antonio's Alamo Dome will be a great place. Do you think you will be able to take time during your schedule to go to any of the semifinals and finals there? Just depends. You know, we we finish up the regular season this uh, week with two games, and next week we'll be in the conference tournament, and hopefully the following week we'll be in the NCAA tournament. So it just depends. By the way, great win over Cincinnati. Congratulations on that, and hope you keep playing all the way up until, I don't know, maybe Easter weekend and well beyond. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Kelvin Sampson, University of Houston. Thank you so much for spending some time. This is VibeFortBend.com.